actually going to hear Allie bellow, I guess. Um, as you know, here's the stanchion we use. You see, this is just always old Fitz board. It always did everything it needed for Elsa. Kept her in a barrier, kept me away. Now, Allie will go in, but Allie gets a little crazy. So we're gonna beef this up. That way it is ready for her to go buck wild in here. Cause most time we're not, we're not putting her in and locking her down. Uh, we're fixing to start because her stanchion training is going to get a little bit longer, a little bit more intense because she's getting closer to having a calf. So we need to make sure she is ready. So we're going to go ahead and put the crossbar in to pull her close to us like we had in the other stanchion. Also, we're going to beef these up a little bit to where once we wrap them and put a chain around them, she can't get out of them. And then this backboard right here, which is just old fence post uh, or a fencing, uh, it's just a little, really one by six. We're gonna go ahead and beef up, put a two by four here and get it real tight on her. That way she will be, well, she'll be tough, but she can't jump out and break it down like uh, like she could with this little board. So I don't think she knows what's in store for her. Okay, so you see I put a bolt in, a bolt in on this side, just got a simple hook, another bolt to this two by four. Now, what I'm gonna do is take this two by four and use it like it's supposed to be used and basically i'll pull it in with the chain against her rear end right there and that way it keeps her very close to me where she can't move also when i'm done with that i'm gonna take this take that two before and brace it right here to where it keeps her tight against me too so that way she's encapsulated with really two by fours more than just the look of a stanchion this stanchion is beefed up up top but i never really beefed this up because i never had to uh, but now with, with like I said with Allie and kind of training her a little bit more and she's a little bit more stubborn and bullheaded I'm gonna um, just kind of beef it up. But so I've got this started as you see got that in We're gonna go ahead around to the other side put the bolt on it over here And then finish up right here and then that way I'm gonna get her in let her let you see me uh, Go ahead and do a stanchion training on her and then that way we'll kind of get her prepared <clears throat> Okay, so I got it done Got the, this bar up Got it uh, secured in. We put this extra uh, heavier duty clamp here. What we'll do is have this swing, this is just hang like this until she gets in. Once she gets in, I'll just unlatch this. You'll drop this chain. And then I'll just put this here and latch it on right there. So it's not gonna be hard. We're just gonna see if this will work. I'm gonna put her in it and also not stress her out, but just kind of leave her in here especially after food's done and see if she can still get out. Um, we're trying to get it to where she really can't get out. We've got the, you know, the V-stanchion. I've never really had to close it for Elsa. I am going to uh, close it on Allie's head just because of the horns, and I don't want her trying to horn me. So uh, i got a chain to go around that too. So let's let's see if we can get her in, uh, let her do some training, uh, let her just eat and kind of calm down, then I'm going to try to lock her in and see if it makes a difference. Kick her in and see if we can get her over and get her ready to go. be a lot more smoother on this one than it would be done. Alright, so there we go. We'll tighten this up just a little bit. Yeah, better, better hook, eh? There we go. Alright, so you see how we got her tighter? Let me see. See how we got her tighter? She can't really move. So that's how we got the stanchion done. Now we're going to work on a little stanchion training. This is how we've been doing Allie. And this is how we kind of keep her from uh, from actually uh, trying to kick me. So Aiden's going to go get a towel and also get some apple cider vinegar spray. And we'll go ahead and at least get a little training done and try to rub on her a little bit. And uh, the, the main thing is letting her feel like uh, she's comfortable. So the kids are here petting her and we're just talking around her. We've ran the pump around her. I felt all over. But every time she kicks, I'll give her a good pop on that hind leg, and that teaches her no. So she's done really good. I mean, she really has. But, you know, standing here for five minutes eating that's not locked in, so now having to stand here maybe 30 or 40 minutes locked in, uh, without her calf being the one to milk her, we'll see how that goes. But, again, training is all part of getting her broken in. So Aiden's going to get that stuff, and we'll go ahead and see if we can spray her a little bit, show you how we uh, have been breaking her and see if it's gonna work, hopefully, when she has this calf. All right, so this is typically how we milk. Again, she's 
she's a lot smaller than Elsa. Now you see she's got her leg behind her. I don't know why she's standing like that. We have been working with her, so I'll grab her like I do Elsa, and she'll move her leg back. Now I've never seen her leg go behind her, so that's a new trick. So we'll see how she does when I, I try to feel on her. You see that she's not kicking me yet. She used to kick me by uh, anywhere close. She does have good feed. I don't feed her unless I'm stanchion training her, so she sees this a treat. Again, apple cider vinegar is what we use to, to, to make sure the cow gets covered and cleaned off. I'm trying not to slip out of my hands. Okay, so we want to train her uh, like we were just now milking her. So what we're going to do is just kind of, see, she's trying to adjust. So, come on. Come on. Come on. See, just grab her right there. And she'll use it just now she may do it again because she's we're still trying to work on training her you see i'm just trying to just get her used to me just filling on her she's doing good now she do never never get comfortable even with the cow that you've been training for a while uh, unless you are you're comfortable with her milking for even a year or two because uh elsa i'm comfortable with but just because she's been milking almost a year i don't want to ever think that that eight eight nine hundred thousand pound cow cannot you know hurt me well this one's smaller but she's even more feistier and since she's not used to milking i want to make sure she's comfortable and the last thing i'm gonna do is just trust her and put my head down here and try to get her uh and try to just trust her that way so we're just gonna do a little bit more training let her stand here eat let me just kind of mess with her as if i was fisting a milker she's not none of any bind it's just loosely around her neck so it makes her feel like she's she's there, but it's not where she is choking or anything like that. She's got plenty of room. Allie uh, getting petted by Ellie. Ellie, be careful, baby. So she's petting her again. She's been training good. Just always remember, if she decides to try to kick you, I pop her right here. Now she hadn't done it, so I don't want to pop her. I want her to just know that she's doing a really good job. But I'll give her if she does good. I'm like, hey, girl, good job, and I just love on her, rub her belly, and just kind of let her know that I she has done a great job. But there's a different command than where if she starts to try to kick me or tries to put her leg in front, I'll give her a gentle pop here. If she doesn't do it, then I'll grab back here. And then that way she knows I'm trying to teach her. That's two commands I do with her. Now your cow may be different and you may have different ways to train your cow. But the main thing is you want to be able to say a command and she knows what you're talking about. Like I can say two or three commands with, um, with Elsa and she knows I don't like her using the restroom in the stanchion and she's learned that. I can say, eh, and she will not do it until she's done. But it's because I've just steady trained her. Same way, if Elsa's not close enough, I can grab her, just like I'm trying to teach Allie back here, just kind of barely touch her, and she'll know to step over. Now, with Allie, I've got her tight to me, so she don't have to worry about trying to step over. However, what we're trying to do with her is just make sure she can move her leg back. So you see how she's standing? It's perfect for me. That's exactly how I want her to stand, with that left leg back just a little bit. So that way I can get either the hand milk or put a pump on her. And that way she's, I mean, she's doing really good. How much do you stanchion train? Uh, you need to have your cow way before she has her baby. If she's not used to you, she's not going to be used to a stanchion. She's not going to be used to you hand milking her. Even, even Elsa, who was a, a milk cow and milked for a long time at a milk barn, local milk barn, she still took her a long time just to get used to us. Now she's used to us, but still, you want to make sure that you have your cow. You love on your cow. She gets to know y'all, gets to know you. She knows your commands, and then that way you know when she's ready to start stanchion training. Now, say she's getting ready to have a calf. Well, I started stanchion training Allie probably about three or four months ago, halfway through her pregnancy, because I want her to get used to it. The only time she gets feed and all this good sweet food and all this dairy pellets is only when she comes in the stanchion. There's times you can ask AA, you can vouch for me AA, that uh, we would not feed her and all of a sudden she'd walk in the stanchion and walk right back out. Well, she didn't get any feed that day. So we're teaching her this is a treat only when you come in to get milked and when you're good. If she starts kicking and she wouldn't abide to the stanchion rule, we would not keep her in here and she would we'd take her feet away. And that way she knew for the day she messed up and she didn't want to do that. Look at this, her rib right here. She's so big with this calf that she is it's, it's, it's like poking out on her ribs. So I think she's doing good. What do you what do you think? I think she's gonna do she might surprise us and do better than 
I think as long as she's eating, she'll let you do anything you want to. <laughs> so, um, she looks like she's done great. I mean, we won't know until the time gets here, but I think the more that we keep working with her, the better she's gonna do, of course. Right. Four months ago, I couldn't even touch her here. She'd run out the thing. And she has those horns, which is one of our big things where she's just, she's not natured as much like Elsa, which was one of our concerns. Elsa just, she don't care what you do to her. Allie's a little bit different. So training Allie was very important. And see, we've already bought um, a calf halter, and we're gonna wrap it around here to where she is an eye view of her cow right. at all times and her calf. That all will times. also let help her milk come down too That's when right. we're dealing with her. Jerseys are notorious for holding back their milk for their calf. Uh, which is where their cream is. So the more they hold back, the more cream we won't get. So we're going to put that calf right there in front of her where she knows how important it is to let her let her full milk down. We're not going to milk her fully out like we would Elsa because we want her calf to get uh, good and fed off good Jersey milk. So she is putting on some weight for this calf. She's not normally this big at all. So, But she's doing really good. I'm very pleased with her. Um, Again, part of stanchion training is making making sure you're getting comfortable with the cow, but more than that, the cow getting comfortable with you. She needs to know your commands. If a pop right here is what teaches our cow that that's wrong, that's what she needs to know. If a grabbing her here teaches her that's what we need when we want her leg moved, that's what she needs to know. If we know ant is a bad command when she's trying to do things she shouldn't be doing, like pulling away from the top here, the V, then she needs to know. But she won't know that if you hadn't trained her over the last few weeks or months. Cows are not dumb. Now, they can be stubborn, but they're not dumb. So learn to give them treats just like you would a dog or any other animal. But at the same time, make sure you're rewarding them, taking care of them, and they'll take care of you. Hope this uh, video is a good little video. It teaches you how we stench and train our heifers as they get ready to calf. And uh, we hope you have a good day. We hope you're enjoying our content of our channel. All right, what do we say, Illy? Happy homesteading, y'all.